the blessing is conferred upon people by saying the bible says and he blessed them and said listen i've told you that the blessing is a dimension of the operation of the holy spirit it comes upon your life alongside every kind of spiritual impartation they answer to words and they answer to faith words mixed with faith hallelujah a few scriptures and i will speak over your life please i want you to receive it i want you to believe it hallelujah deuteronomy 30 and verse 9 media let's walk together very quickly Deuteronomy 30 and verse 9. And the Lord thy God will make thee plenteous in every work of thine hand, in the fruit of thy body, in the fruit of thy cattle, and in the fruit of thy land. It says, For the Lord again will rejoice over thee for good. In the name of Jesus. Therefore I prophesy, let plenty locate you. Ah someone is receiving let plenty locate you in this season i drive scarcity from you let the covenant of plenty find expression in your life in the name of jesus christ deuteronomy 7 15 7 15 deuteronomy 7 15 the lord will take away from thee all sickness and will put none of the evil diseases of Egypt which thou knowest upon thee and will lay them upon them that hate thee therefore I decree and declare in the name of Jesus for you and for your loved ones I declare be free from sickness and infirmity Isaiah 54 17 Isaiah 54 17 no weapon that is formed against thee shall prosper and every tongue that shall rise against thee in judgment thou shalt condemn therefore i decree and declare no matter how that weapon comes in the name of jesus it will not find expression in your life isaiah 58 11 58 11 isaiah it says the lord shall guide thee continually is someone shouting a loud amen? amen every confusion every misdirection in your life going to the wrong places and finding out you are just wasting time find accuracy of direction now amen. let's finish the scripture and satisfy your soul in famine amen. and make fat your bones amen. that thou shalt be like a well a watered garden like a spring of waters whose waters fail not i prophesy supplies to your life in the name of jesus christ psalm 86 and verse 17 give us an amplified please psalm 86 and verse 17 86 17 he said show me a sign of your evident goodwill and favor that those who hate me may sit and be put to shame listen he said because you lord will show your approval of me when you help and comfort me he says show me a sign the sign that god needs to show in your life to bring to an end the shame and the mockery may god show that sign this week may god show that sign this week may my god show that sign this week in the name of jesus christ listen they looked at elisha and they were wondering could this be the person to succeed elisha he did not look like it but when a sign came upon him the bible says he turned the sign was to part jordan and when he said where is the lord god of elijah and jordan parted hither and thither the prophet saw and they said truly the spirit of elijah don't rest upon elijah i don't know what sign god needs to show in your life to let everyone know that finally favor has landed to let everyone know that finally speed has landed but i say again this week may god show that sign this week may my god show that sign in the name of jesus christ psalm isaiah 43 and verse 4 43 4 
Isaiah 43 and verse 4 43 and verse 4 do we have that projected it says since thou was precious in my sight thou has been honorable and I have loved thee therefore will I give men for thee and people for your life listen do you know what this means listen to my message the gift of men you are as wealthy as the men God bring in your life you are not just as wealthy as the things when you have things you are limited things cannot love you things cannot be there for you when God really wants to help a man he gives that man men let me speak over someone you have things but you lack men I pray for you men that includes help us men that includes comfort us men that includes financiers men that includes prophetic people to speak this week may God bring quality men to show up in your life may God bring quality men to show up in your life in the name of Jesus finally numbers chapter 6 from verse 24 numbers 26 24 the Lord bless thee ah you didn't hear that the Lord bless thee the Lord bless thee the Lord keep thee listen do you know what it means for God to keep you have to make reference to John 17 and verse 1 he says he came to him and he said glorify now thy son that thy son may bring glory to you when you read down to verse 6 he says all that you have given me I have kept and none is lost except the son of perdition he says look for it I see it's somewhere there John 17 all that you have given me I have kept he says and none is lost except the son of perdition and that's that the scripture might be fulfilled he said but what I know whom I have believed and I am persuaded that he is able to keep that which is committed unto him against that day so when he says the Lord keep you it means that you are engraved in the palm of his hands beyond the reach of curses beyond the reach of all kinds of demonic things now that you understand let me say it again the Lord keep you the Lord keep you 25 the Lord make his face to shine upon you listen do you know what this means every time you hear the face of God shining upon a man that is favor you find that in the life of Moses you find that in Psalm 44 and verse 3 give it to us very quickly for they got not the land in possession by their own sword neither did their own arm save them but thy right hand and thy arm and the light of thy countenance that is how they became possessors so when he says may he make his face shine upon you it's another way of saying may you be covered completely with the favor of God I pray for you may the Lord make his face shine upon you and be gracious unto you 26 may the Lord lift up his countenance upon you the last blessing right here is something money cannot buy hear me the last blessing right here is something education cannot buy the last blessing right here is something your intellectual pedigree cannot buy the bible says and give thee is a gift if you are not given you cannot have it and give thee peace listen i've told you my highest definition of success is not progress is peace no matter what else you have in your life if it is at the expense of your peace it was not worth it no wonder Jesus himself is called the Prince of Peace he says peace I give you my peace I live with you not as the world gives there is a kind of peace that he gives you that surpasses all understanding I'm praying for you in this troubled world in the midst of the turbulence that is depressing people saddled with fear saddled with all kinds of um, all kinds of things may the peace of God be given to you this night may the peace of God be given to you this night in the mighty name of Jesus Christ 
in the mighty name of Jesus Christ in the mighty name of Jesus Christ where you have been crawling I place an anointing upon you begin to fly like the eagles begin to fly like the eagles hear me whatever has covered your glory covered your visibility so that those who need you and have what it takes to honor God in your life cannot find you in the name of Jesus I tear off that veil now I tear off that veil now find visibility find visibility find visibility in the name of Jesus Christ hallelujah why have you been here 38 years I have no man to help me not that the water cannot be reached I have no man where is somebody who is in need of one man one man who becomes a helper to say what is your issue oh a job see me tomorrow where is the one man who is saying what is your issue oh a visa come and see me next week I pray for you the one man sent by God to be a destiny helper to your life in this season wherever they are I gravitate them towards your destiny <laughs> hallelujah three more prayer points everything that has died in your life she first among them your prayer life and your passion for god perhaps you came here and it looks like everything god is dying or has died in your life because you see when prayer dies your passion for god dies your passion for the word dies eventually every other thing begins to die that is the central point of victory in your life your relationship with jesus enhanced by your prayer enhanced by your word study enhanced by your passion for the house of god your submission to doctrine and learning let me pray for you tonight jesus is called the resurrection and the life everything dead everything dying in the name of jesus i use the words of jesus talitha kumi it, although it was for a little girl but i pray for every situation that has died let it come back to life now let it come back to life now. Let it come back to life now. Dead prayer life, come forth. Dead word study life, come forth. Dead passion for the things of God, come forth. In the name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Can I pray for your finances? Will it mean anything to you if you experience a higher level of the blessing of the Lord on that wise? You need money. Let me tell you, period. It's as simple as that. There is no other way around it. Money is not everything. But as far as the matters of economy is concerned, you will be surprised how crippled your life will be. Are we together now? The person who is sick cannot reach the hospital. But the person who is poor, everything you need is around you. But the wherewithal to make it yours. That is even more disastrous. If you bring something for a sick person to eat, the person may not have the energy. So it's not an issue of, is that the appetite is not there. But a poor man will pass every shop available, everything available, but the means to connect it to your destiny is not there. And remember, when we talk about finances, I will emphasize again that this is not some mundane, carnal quest for materialism. But let me tell you, I'm a responsible man of God and I believe in responsible Christianity that administers to you the whole counsel of God. Anyone who tells you to downplay the relevance of finances is joking first with himself and then you. Are we together? The name of Jesus Christ is very heavy. It takes financial resources to take it high enough for the nations to see. The needs that surround your life, most of us here, if we were to read your prayer request, over 70 to 80% of them will largely be dependent on finances. Finance is very important because it can solve so many things. Cannot give you peace, but it can enhance the atmosphere that gives you peace. Let me tell you, one of the reasons, one of the ways you become a peacemaker on earth is to have the means to give to Caesar what belongs to Caesar and give to God what be if you are owing Caesar, doesn't matter your relationship with God. As far as Caesar is concerned, the tribute collectors will come to disgrace you. When Jesus was ministering, they came and said, you claim to be a man teaching righteousness, yet you are owing the law. 
so you must know how to give to caesar what belongs jesus acknowledged that there are some things that belong to caesar i want to pray for you the kind of christian experience where you love jesus christ but then you are being incapacitated economically i've told you that many people because of this economic backwardness it can tilt you towards the corridors of compromise god can bless you so bless you eh, that you solve your financial problems it does not become a concern again your concern now becomes building destiny and the purposes of god thinking about money day and night is idolatry is a cause it was never supposed to be that way there is nobody an intelligent god will not design a human being to be obsessed and thinking about money because what you think about that worry is a kind of worship are we together it says let the words of my mouth and the meditations of my heart be acceptable many believers love the lord but this finance thing especially within the you know you do not want to compromise your faith but then it must finance listen until you know how to force finance to answer especially co-laborers those who are in ministry here listen to me in all your getting trust god for grace to sort this money thing once and for all this is not an issue of pride this is this is until that is solved i guarantee you there is a, a, a kind of concentration you will never have as far as destiny is concerned are we together yeah the absence of finance is one of the biggest sponsors of compromise even in our world today many people who love the lord are forced to bend over and compromise give to caesar what belongs to caesar let me pray for you in the name of jesus it says haven't obtained help from the lord i continue to this day i pray for someone the dimension of wealth you have not seen i call upon my god the god of jeshuron the one who rides upon the wings of the wind may my god surprise you 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 open up strange financial gates for you connect you to strategic helpers give you wisdom to manage and multiply your resources in the name of Jesus Christ hear me and your acquisition of financial resources will not be at the expense of your relationship with Jesus the wealthier you are the more passionate you will be about the things of God with it you will be a blessing to many with it you will be a blessing to yourself listen I'm not praying for you for money to just buy tea and bread. You don't need my prayer for that to happen. Just be valuable. I'm praying for you to become a trustee. A trustee of the wealth of the kingdom. Receive it in the name of Jesus Christ. Thou hast caused men to ride upon our heads. We walk through water and through fire. And thou brought us into a wealthy place. A man can be helped by God. May that be your portion. Now, finally, you have honored me. You have prayed for me. I, have, I understand there are many prayer groups that have prayed, prayed and fasted for days. Just lifting me before the Lord. Whatever gift you give me, is, there's, there's only so much I can do. But that prayer you have prayed for me. I just want to speak one prayer from my heart. One prayer from my heart and you care to receive it i want to pr i'm going to pray for you no no you don't have to kneel please stand but it is from the depth of my heart every man has a covenant with god there are secrets that make for the rising of men there are things god is always telling us in every season and when he sends a word to jacob he lights it upon israel i truly want to pray that one prayer with that we'll wrap up the service but i want you to receive it if this is the only reason why you have come here tonight your coming will be worth it if you do receive this. Hallelujah. Can I pray that prayer for you? Father, there is a grace called favor. You have helped me. You have made me to become an, an expression of your favor. That it is true. You can pick a man and place that grace upon him. My Bible says, and Jesus increased in wisdom, stature, favor with God and with men. You have helped me in the name of Jesus 
from the abundance of that which God has given I stretch my hands on this day to as many who will care to receive from tonight carry that grace evidently 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 number two god can empower you to walk signs and wonders but he can make you a sign and a wonder he says i and the children that the lord has given me he didn't say we will produce he said we are that your life becomes a living epistle i'm praying for you the grace that makes ordinary men to become global phenomenons the 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 the, the, the grace that can make an ordinary man to become a sign and a wonder wherever you are i impart that grace upon you I impart that grace upon you let the nations hear your voice let the nations see the hand of God upon your life I impart that grace upon you carry that grace evidently in the name of Jesus Christ finally I want to release that grace for honor you see it takes honor for a generation to listen to you it takes honor for a generation to, to, to acknowledge the hand of God upon your life. Joshua was full of the spirit already, but he told Moses, take some of your honor and place upon him so that the children of Israel will hearken to him. Being skillful and gifted is wonderful, but that is not enough to command the attention of a generation. Being honest and a person of integrity is not enough. You can respect yourself, but you cannot honor yourself. Honor is conferred upon you by another. In the name of Jesus Christ, I pray for someone tonight. May this mantle of honor that can cause all and sundry to acknowledge God in your life and to reward you as matching your true worth, may that grace rest upon you. May that grace rest upon you. Pray from the depth of your heart. Let the fire of revival fall upon my life. Arabala shalaka tabraka gadebele gadesh. Ebrakata baraka buska tebrada gadebele koko. Shada brada gadebrado buska nibrado zetiata. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Listen, we are still praying. We are still praying a prayer of revival. Revelation chapter two. Revelation chapter 2 We we'll start our reading from verse 1 We are reading to verse 4 Unto the angel of the church in Ephesus Write This thing saith he that holdeth the seven stars In his right hand Who walketh in the midst of the stones The, the seven golden candlesticks Verse 2 I know thy works and thy labor. I know thy patience and how thou canst not bear them which are evil. And thou hast tried them which say they are apostles and are not. And hast found them liars. Next verse. And has born and has patience. And for my name's sake you have labored. And you have not fainted. However, verse 4, nevertheless, I have somewhat against you because thou hast left thy first love. 5. It says, Remember therefore from whence thou art fallen and repent 
and do the first works or else I will come unto you quickly and I will remove thy lampstand or thy candlestick except thou repent. You are ready to pray. Father, purge me and restore. Restore to me my spiritual experiences. Restore the visions. Restore the dreams. Restore the anointings. Restore the graces. Every virtue I have lost through carelessness. Every virtue I have lost through indiscipline. Every virtue I have lost through lukewarmness. Revive our Lord God. Restore. Open your mouth and pray. Open your mouth and pray. Harakata pako shalege de bradege de baladamish. Embra kata parakata preska de belegeta. Revive a local. Restore, 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 restore. Restore fire. Restore dreams. Hanegate baraka shabra diye de belerebo. Apratas kate beleke tosh. Emprata kaparaka taparaka tosh koto prendege de beleke to. Restore my prayer altar. Restore my appetite for your word. Restore my character. Restore discipline to my life. Oh Lord, set my heart on fire for you. For you. Oh Lord. Will you set my life in order for you? For you. I want to know your ways. I want to know your ways. Hallelujah. Now hear me. Listen to me please. In this bedeviled world that we live in, can I tell you, it takes a grace for high level consecration to carry certain dimensions of the grace and power of God. To be consecrated means to be set apart. You cannot serve the purposes of God and carry certain levels of graces with distractions. Everything calls your attention. Everything seems to be able to win your heart. You are going to pray. Father, dethrone everything that is not you until you become the king of kings seated at the throne of my heart. Every other idol, everything I may have exalted above you, I bring it to the foot of the cross. Lift your voice and pray. Take your place in my life, O oh God. I dethrone every idol. I dethrone everything that has attempted to replace you in my life. Through the sacrifice of consecration, I desire to step into deeper dimensions. No distraction. Shade beleke te branda gada balaka shkada bradi. Krada bedeke te beleke te fraska da balanda bashkania. 
Rapata Pratega de Pratekos Kalekrates Kaparanda Barataria Katapros Shabreke de Bele de Baraga Prakata Prandega de Bele de Bos Hallelujah Hallelujah Now listen I know that our time is gone I will soon begin to pray Aside from maybe those who are here If you can Please pair yourselves into three You are going to pray Any three people at all If there is no space You can look for two people And just hold the hand of someone Pair yourselves You are going to hold hands And you are going to pray The Bible says a threefold cord Cannot be easily broken This prayer is a prayer of covenant With your destiny That that which God intends for me to fulfill In the name of Jesus No power in existence Will stop me You will pray for yourself and the person Whose hand you are holding Lord every mantle and every grace That must come upon my neighbor That must come upon my brother For destiny fulfillment We are intentional about it tonight Let it fall from heaven Someone pray Someone pray Someone pray Everything that makes for preparation for a glorious destiny we agree in prayer this mantle must rest upon us tonight Keep praying, keep praying. Two more minutes. Two more minutes. Pray and stretch in the spirit. Empregate barakata babakata barakata lekete Shananda skatena daskate braskati lahasia Imbrekate barakata broska sekete beleketa In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. One last prayer point. Don't be tired. You are making an investment for your destiny. You are going to lay your hands on your head. And say the glory of my destiny. Show forth. The glory of my destiny. Show forth. In the name of Jesus, lay your hands and decree and declare. This is the season 
where the glory of my destiny must show forth I lay my hands on my head as a token of my glory thou O Lord art a shield for me you are my glory the lifter up of my head someone pray the glory of my destiny the glory of my call the glory of my assignment hear the word of the Lord this is the season when you shine forth show forth manifest The glory of my destiny Show forth Show forth Show forth Show forth in the name of Jesus. Show forth the glory of my destiny. Show forth by the power of the Holy Ghost. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Listen, if you pay attention to all the spiritual exercises and the activities tonight, you will marvel and wonder at what your life becomes. Listen, this is how great men are made. There is no other way. This is a sacrifice you are making for your destiny. Tomorrow, if anybody tells you you were just lucky, tell them there is no such thing as luck. There is a cup you are drinking and there is a baptism you are being baptized with. I feel in my spirit to add one more prayer request. The Bible says, and when there was no more vessel, the oil stopped. You are going to pray. My spiritual capacity, hear the word of the Lord for tonight. Enlarge until you can carry the mantle of my destiny. Enlarge, enlarge my capacity for the prophetic, my capacity for evangelism, my capacity to receive the mantle of favor. Enlarge by the power of the Holy Ghost. I borrow vessels in the spirit, I borrow not a few. Enlarge, enlarge, enlarge. Capacity to hear, enlarge. Capacity to see, enlarge. Capacity to speak, enlarge. And the belaga the braska the belaga the braska the lekata, enlarge by the power of the Holy Ghost, enlarge. And the branda skate lekata barosko tu yataba. My spiritual capacity, I stretch you by the power of the Holy Ghost. I stretch my hunger, I stretch my expectation. Pray, pray from the depth of your heart. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. 
in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Please listen to me. There are five major reasons and there are five major expectations that you must have every time you come into the presence of God. Family of God, and we really celebrate and love you.